Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. So today in this video, we'll see one another biggest MNCs interview question, data engineering interview question today and we'll try to solve, uh, okay, so uh, I'll try to solve uh, on my way, okay, if you have any other approach, you can comment on this video, okay. So uh, I have taken this uh, question from one of the LinkedIn post, okay. So uh, I'll try to solve. Okay. So be, be, uh, without wasting time, uh, uh, I should go to my notebook. Okay. So uh, the Deloitte interview question. Okay. Now came. Okay. So here what they have given. They have given two tables. Okay. One is product tables one is sales table okay so product tables have three columns product id product name and category and product and sales have also have three columns okay product id year and total sales revenue the common column is uh, product id the unique key okay so um, here what i need to find out uh, uh, i need to find out the product whose total sales revenue has increased every year okay so this total sales revenue column for which product is it has increased for each and every year okay that that product i need to find out not only the i need to show to our end user not only the product id and to show the show them product id product name and category all the three columns okay so uh, without wasting time, uh, let's go to our solution. So I have already written the code for uh, for saving the time. Okay. So let's go and we'll try to understand. Okay. So this is um, this is our product table, product table. Okay. And this is our sales table, sales data we have. Okay. Sales data. Uh, uh, okay. Product ID uh, number one product 2019 uh, have. 1000 rupees sale number one product 2020 have uh, 1200 rupees sale and 2021 it has 1100 rupees sale and after that uh, number two product product id 2 uh, 2019 500 uh, 2020 600 2021 900 okay it, it has gradually increased so uh, we should return the product id 2 Let's see the product ID three will return or not. 2019 it has 300, 2020 it has 450, but 2021 it has reduced to 400. So we we'll, we can't consider this. So our return thing, uh, the return product ID would be number two product ID. Number two product ID gradually increases each and every year. Okay. Yeah, so uh, one product ID one also not increased. It increased 2022, but 2020, but 2021, it has decreased. In the same happened for product ID three also. Where our our output our our output product ID would be two. Okay, so let's see how we will find out. Okay, so first what we will do? First we will use the window function for create one window. Okay. So I will create uh, I will create one window function. So uh, partition I will uh, for creating the window we need to partition this. So here uh, uh, here we will partition the data. Partition the sales DF data. Sales DF means the sales table data uh, uh, with product ID uh, and uh, based on product ID we will partition them and um, based on order ID sorry based on based on the year we will order the order we will create the order we will form the order okay so so uh, window uh, so this the in this way we will use the window function in our uh, uh, new DA. okay so i am creating one uh, new data frame new data frame variable uh, where i have stored i will store the data frame so sales df we will create one uh, new column here previous year revenue 
where um, each and for each and every column we will able to see um, its previous year into revenue okay so there uh, only uh, i will use um, the lack function lack function will return the previous year revenue okay from the total sales revenue column and uh, it will it will operate on this window only so over over this window it it will operate okay and after that i will i will create one another column so there uh, i i'll make uh, i'll find out the difference so let first we run this cell and we will understand okay so what i want to do here so here i'm doing so this three column already exists okay so here i am creating one new column which is previous year revenue so so for the 2019 we don't have any previous year revenue that's why it is null but 2020 we have previous year revenue it is that's why it is 1000 here 2021 it has uh, it has previous year revenue 1200 so it is that's why it is written 1200 but for product as uh, i have uh, created the window based uh, partition by product id so that's why for product id 2 uh, there is no previous year previous year previous year cell. it will not take the product id 1 data okay so for product id 2 first 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 the 2019 previous year revenue would be null and after that Uh, uh, 2020 and 2021 respectively, I'll get 500 and 600 the previous year data. So same thing would be happen for product ID three also. Okay, so I think you have understood here. So after that, what I am doing, I'm I'm simply uh, creating one another column. Okay, creating one another column different DI double. Okay, here I'm creating uh, here I am. Uh, finding out the difference between the total uh, total sales revenue and previous year sales revenue, total sales revenue and previous year sales revenue. So, why I am creating this? Because uh, if your sale will decrease than previous year, then I will get one negative value. So, for getting this, I am I am. I'm um, uh, finding out the difference. Okay, so I'm doing the difference. So uh, you can see um, for product ID one, two thousand twenty-two and twenty-one, the sale is decreased uh, in two thousand twenty-one. That's why I'm getting a negative value. For product ID three, also it is same, but product ID two, it is not happening. All the values are uh, in positive one. So I can use this logic here. now i am using this logic here so what logic i am using uh, the earlier data frame from the new df data frame i am grouping by in this thing uh, by product id and aggregating uh, aggregating the minimum difference the minimum difference uh, okay and uh, i am and uh, what i am doing i am giving the column name minimum difference and filtering it uh minimum difference greater than 0 so minimum difference for uh, one would be so for, for one minimum difference would be uh, minus 100 so um, for two it would be um, 100 and for three uh, it would be minus 50 so minimum thing minimum thing means um, uh, minus okay so here i am after that i am filtering it uh, that where the value is greater than 0 so greater than 0 only i have the minimum thing uh, for 2 here this value here it is 100 okay so it is uh, it is returning the product id minimum difference now i now what uh, i got the product id simply i will join the uh, this new df data frame with product data frame for getting the pro uh, product name And its category. So simply, I am joining here, and I got the product ID, product name, and category. Okay. 
so the, this was the main funda of this question so a little bit tricky uh, as it is a deloitte question where we can expect this kind of tricky question yeah, okay so like this kind of uh, interview question if you want to get um, uh, other companies interview question then please fo and do follow us and do um, um, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for getting the notification and continuously uploading this kind of um, uh, tricky interview questions okay so uh, i think you have understood the concept if you have any kind of doubt please do comment on the video comment section so that i can reply back to you guys i'm always uh, try to help you guys okay uh, because uh, when i will help you if i if i have any kind of uh, done any kind of wrong uh, wrong approach then you guys also can um, you guys also can tell me that uh, the, the, this approach, this thing we can do in this approach also okay so I, so that i can also learn from you guys okay please do comment and uh, on the video section if you have any uh, other uh, advanced approach okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, please 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 do like share and subscribe our video because uh, without your support we can't grow okay our channel will not grow okay please do like share and subscribe please share our videos with your friends and colleagues so that they can also benefited okay this videos okay or uh, i have uploaded all 75 videos till now okay but <laughs> you can see um, uh, youtube is not uh, recommending our channel much more okay as we are new so for getting the views and uh, uh, getting the recommendations from youtube i need you guys support uh, so that uh, we can also reach out to um, to the needy um, uh, students who wants to learn the data engineering things and all these all are free content uh, our team is always with you guys to help you if you have any kind of interview question please post on the video comment so that uh, i can solve that and i can um, uh, i can uh, solve that and uh, and uh, to take take that content in a video okay so that you can also learn it okay so thank you thank you for watching this video bye